Today I want to look at how to use MSI Afterburner to quickly and easily undervolt your GPU. So this is mainly pertaining to NVIDIA GPUs. The same method applies to AMD, but it's kind of easier on the AMD side. We'll, we'll deal with that in the future. So I did make a video on why you need to undervolt your GPU, where I go over the benefits of undervolting. So to actually get there, you're gonna need a few things. First off, you're gonna need HW Info or a similar program for diagnostic info. You're also gonna need an application to push your GPU to the limit. Here we have Horizon Zero Dawn running in the background. And then as we can see, that's pushing the GPU to 99%, which is exactly what we need open up these again. And of course, you're going to need MSI Afterburner. This is the main skin that I co it comes with. And if you're curious and you install it and it's not the same, it is this one, the MSI Mystic Afterburner skin by Drerex Design. So the first thing you need to do before actually tinkering with MSI Afterburner is figure out what your GPU is doing. So you can easily go do this. Let's say it's the future and you have, I don't know, a 4080 and it's really pumping out the heat. So all you have to do is Google your specific GPU. So if it's an ASUS 4080, just type in ASUS 4080 undervolt and I'm sure you'll find a setting that'll probably work well for your card. But I recommend actually going in and figuring out what your card does because each card is going to be different to some degree. So this is pretty simple. And all you have to do is let that game run until your card hits that heat limit, starts the thermal throttle. As we can see, mine is pretty much plateaued here at about 81 to 82 degrees. So at that point, you take two measurements. One of them is gonna be your GPU clock. So I'm gonna be choosing around 1860. You can go above or below that by about 20 megahertz. And also you're gonna be looking at your core voltage. And right now we're getting about 1000 millivolts. So I got both my clock and I've got my voltage. Yours is going to be different. Now with that info, we're ready to undervolt. So go over here to MSI Afterburner and I'm not gonna go through the details of all these little settings here. What we're looking at is the curve editor. So you can either click that button or if it doesn't have that button, just hit control F and that'll open the curve editor. So this is pretty simple. It's very straightforward. So we have, we have our voltage here. We had a thousand millivolts and we also had a clock rate of about 1880 is what I'm gonna set it to. So what you need to do is come down from that 1000 millivolts, about 50 millivolts each time. So from there, 950, reaching up to this here, and we're gonna pull that up to 1880, as long as it's close to that. Now, this is the next step that's very easy. Some people actually manually move each one of these to be in line. You don't have to do that. Just hold shift, then drag the left click across, hit shift enter, It'll flatten out that line, and then all you have to do is hit apply, boom, you're under volted. That's it. That's all you have to do. So what you want to do from there is move down that voltage further by about 50 millivolts is probably good. You can go slower if you want to until it becomes unstable. And what I mean by unstable is essentially you'll, you'll know very quickly is the application you're running will crash or your computer will, cr will crash. It's not a big deal. It's not going to ruin your computer or anything. It's not going to cause any long-term problems, but that's how you'll know it's unstable. And all you have to do is go back up to whatever voltage you were at before that was stable. So it wasn't crashing and that that's your undervolt. So I just repeat that process. I'd come down, hit, you can hit that reset, come down to 900, pull that up to 1880, drag across, shift enter, apply. See it's stable. And I do it again, restart, 850, drag it across, shift enter, apply. It's stable, at least initially it's stable. So I know that's the limit for my GPU. I could go lower, but I've already tried that in the past and the application crashes. And essentially that's where I landed on 850 millivolts at 1880 megahertz has been good for me. So that's my upper limit for undervolting. And as you can see, it has affected the temperature already. The game's still running. The temperature has gone down a few degrees. You can see that this voltage is flattened out. The power usage has come down and the core load is still up there at 99%. So from there, what you can do is you can save it. All you have to do is hit the save button. You'll get these flashings on the side and you can just click on one of those and then I'll save a profile. So if that's all you wanted to do, that's it. You can stop there. If you want to go a bit further and you're not completely satisfied with the temperature of your GPU, you can take it down further. So at this point you do the same thing, but now you're going to do it with the frequency. You bring down the frequency. You can do 50, 100 millivolts. So for example, if we were at 1880, let's say I bring it down about 100. I'm gonna to go to 1770. I know I was stable at 850, but we can go lower than there because it's not gonna need as much voltage. So let's go down to 800 and bring that up to 1770. About 1770. Come on. There we go. Same procedure. 
supply. And now we have our undervolt. And what we're gonna see here is the temperature come down even further than before. We see that we have a new lower temp, power substantially lower than it was originally, almost by 100 watts. Or it's about almost exactly 100 watts now, lower than it was before, and the temperature is continually going down. So that's it, just experiment with it. Experiment with your card, see what kind of results you're gonna get. And I'd really suggest using some kind of be benchmarking software. Once you find those stable clocks for your card, try something like 3 d Mark to see what kind of performance it's going to get. For example, this clock here, 1770, I was able to get it down to about 780 millivolts. Here, let's actually apply that profile right there. And that was good for me. I found it was a sweet spot. I actually got a tiny improvement with performance with a pretty good drop in temperature. All right, I'm in the middle of editing this video and there's one thing I think I forgot and that's the fan because it's pretty much the only other thing I use on MSI Afterburner. So if you go to the settings, what you can do is go to the fan tab and enable user defined software and what you're going to be able to do here is actually set a custom profile. So it's usually, this is not what you see this fan curve here. This is, this is my custom curve. That's the curve I use. It's more aggressive than the default one. The default ones usually have an auto off. So you can actually override that auto off so that the fan always stays on. And I think the minimum for this card is something like 40% on stock, so it, it stays really low when it's on idle, but gets quite aggressive when the heat starts to pump up. That's something that's gonna help keep the temps down, help performance for sure. So that's it. I wanted to make a really quick video on how I undervolt. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. This has been Tech Literate. My name is Nick. Thank you for watching.